everyone, welcome back to Grand Chat. Following the last topic, we are back again today with the discussion about fumigation. We are Joe Sontag and Hoàng Nguyen from Sontag Concern. We welcome again the storage expert from Frigotech in Germany, Dr. Klaus Braunbeck. Klaus, uh, last time uh, we had been talking about the weevil issues and uh, infestation problems and uh, did touch the fumigation technology. Today, we would like to find out more about this technology. Fumigation is a very common technology when it comes to treatment of grain weevils. However, it is also a technology which is often not properly applied with a very negative result on its effectiveness since worldwide the resistance of weevil is increasing to superbugs which are hard to kill. What would be considered to apply fumigation properly to prevent this development? Fumigation requires a professional, trained and qualified personnel equipped with the right tools and consider the right condition. The fumigant is only a tool and the application of it makes it work. Often the right procedures are missed. Safety is absolutely mandatory as fumigants are dangerous to humans. What is the right way to do this? First, determine the species of insects to be treated. Then measure the scale of infestation as shown and consider that the threshold if fumigation must be performed according to the expected storage time. This applies if there is no standard like zero weevils is a concern. That makes sense. If it's enough required, then save the cost. If fumigation is required, at first mark and block the area where it will be performed, then seal the storage airtight and do a pressure test to evaluate the quality of it. A minimum of around 200 Pascal pressure inside the storage shouldn't halven in 10 minutes to be sure. Then the seal is approved and fumigation can be take place. However, a minimum temperature of 25 degrees centigrade inside the storage must be given that the weevil will be affected efficiently. At low temperature, their respiration is minimal and they won't be killed. Indeed, you are correct. The right concentration about the size of storage, the fumigant, the type of grain and the application is to choose. If it's applied, the measurement of the concentration throughout the time is mandatory. In case of adsorption or loss, fumigants must be added to remain at the right level. Recirculation of the fumigant is necessary as adsorption may take place at different times. How long does the uh, fumigation take? That is a tricky question, as usually it's a matter of the concentration, ambient condition, and the resistance level of the weevil. If it's too short, there is no achievement, as larvae and eggs may not be killed. In addition, there may be physical constraints to reach all areas in that storage. However, experienced personnel know their job and target the full success. And uh, what follow after the application? The storage needs to be ventilated to get the fumigant diluted or better to be removed totally. In addition, there is a certain retention time for the grain before it can be marketed to avoid poisoning of consumers. So this is again showing the health risk of fumigation. That is indeed what must be always considered and best to prevent infestation to reach. That level will make me referring to the earlier grain chat on controlling weevil infestation by grain cooling. Thank you for mentioning this, Dr. Klau. It's always good to give our attendees to follow up on our series. Thank you very much, Klaus. For sure. Thank you for the grain chat. 
Dear audience, please feel free to contact us if you'd like to address another topic of interest or send us your comment about today's chat. Thank you.